Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. Today's topic is culture media and its types. So what is culture media? Any liquid or solid preparation containing basic nutrients like carbon source, nitrogen source, mineral salts etc. which can support the growth of microbial life called culture media. Now what are the function of culture media? Culture media supports the growth of microbial life by providing necessary nutrients. It preserves microbes for a longer period of time. It protects microbes from outside environment and helps laboratory personnel to study microbes. The idea of culturing bacteria was first introduced by Robert Koch. He used fresh, clean, boiled and sterile potato to grow bacteria. But it was not an ideal object for culturing as bacteria does not grow well on potatoes. Then he used gelatin on sterile dishes to grow bacteria. But that too was not a complete success as gelatin was easily consumed by another unwanted bacteria and get melted on low temperature. A better alternative was provided by Fanny Alsemius Hesse, the wife of Walter Hesse, one of the court's assistant. She suggested the use of agar which is obtained from red marine algae. Agar worked well as a solidifying agent because it was not attacked by most of the bacteria and did not melt until it reaches a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. And now types of culture media. Amount of solidifying agent decides the state of media. On the basis of that, culture media can be of three types. First is liquid media, also known as broth media. Another is semi-solid media and solid media. Liquid medium or broth medium. It is liquid in nature because it does not contain any solidifying agent. After incubation, growth of cells visible in the form of small masses in this medium. Liquid medium is used for propagation of a large number of organisms and fermentation studies. For example, Luria Bertini broth. Semi-solid medium. This medium contains 0.5% of agar. Consistency of this medium is like loose jelly. It can be selective which promotes the growth of one organism and retards the growth of other organism. This semi-solid medium is useful for cultivation of microaerophilic bacteria or for the determination of bacterial mortality. For example, sulfide indole medium. This medium is used to check motility of the organism. If the organism is motile, it will spread out into the medium from the site of inoculation. If the organism is non-motile, it will remain at the site of inoculation. You can see this in the picture. Solid medium. This is the most common type of medium. 1 to 2 percent of agar is added to this medium to obtain solid agar. Normal and routine culturing is done on solid medium. This agar is used to make agar stab or agar slant for preservation of microbes for a longer period of time. For example, nutrient agar. On the basis of their functions, media can be of these types. Preservation culture media, enrichment media, selective culture media, differential media or indicator media, transport media and anaerobic media. Preservation culture media. Purpose of this culture medium is to provide safe environment to the microbes with all basic nutrients so that it can be used when needed. Preservation medium ensures the growth of microbes present in the sample, for example, nutrient agar. Enrichment media. Additional extra nutrients are added to the medium like blood or egg yolk to support the growth of nutritionally fastidious microbe. Fastidious micro means which needs extra nutrients to grow. Enrichment media example is chocolate agar which supports the growth of Neisseria species. Selective culture media. Selective medium supports the growth of one particular microbe or one specific group of microbes from the sample and kill others. For example, bismuth sulfite agar supports the growth of Salmonella typhi and stops the growth of gram-positive bacteria. 
Differential media or indicative media. One microbe can be differentiated from other in the same plate using differential media. Spatial nutrients or color producing indicators such as eosin or methylene blue are added to the medium which are consumed by one particular bacteria which helps to separate it from other bacteria. For example, lactose is added in the McConkie agar, E. coli is lactose fermenting bacteria produce pink colonies on McConkie plate while non-lactose fermenting Salmonella typhi produce pale colonies on McConkie. Transport medium. It is used for carrying microbes from one place to another. Transport medium does not support the growth or multiplication of microbes. It only helps to maintain the original state of the medium. Transport medium lacks nutrients like carbon, nitrogen or any other growth factors. It only contains buffers and salts. For example, buffered saline water.